in this video we are going to study about another element of weather and climate that is air pressure pressure means force applied to a surface here i am talking about the force that is applied by the air on the earth surface that is called air pressure you would be amazed to know that the air has weight and it presses us with a great force on our bodies however we don't even feel it can you think of the reason behind it it is because the same amount of pressure is exerted by our body which makes a perfect balance you can define air pressure as the pressure that is exerted by the weight of air on the earth surface i hope this is clear to you now let us know how air pressure causes air to move air moves because of differences in pressure it moves horizontally as well as vertically let us know about the vertical movement of air first the vertical movement of air is called an air current when the air gets heated it expands and becomes light as a result it rises up and creates an area of low pressure on the earth surface what happens on higher altitudes on the higher altitudes condensation takes place why because of low temperature the clouds are formed thus you can say low pressure is associated with cloudy skies and wet weather quite opposite to this cold air contracts due to which they become heavy and come down and create high pressure areas high pressure is associated with clear and sunny skies means no formation of cloud takes place the air pressure is measured with the help of an instrument called barometer air pressure is highest at the sea level and decreases with increasing height i hope this is clear to you now let us know about the horizontal movement of air near the earth surface the air moves from one place to another only if there is a difference in pressure but what causes difference in pressure it is caused due to differences in temperature always remember that high temperature creates low pressure because when air gets heated it expands and become light whereas low temperature creates high pressure areas and air always moves from the high pressure area to low pressure area the moving air is known as wind in other words you can say the horizontal movement of air is known as wind the wind is named after the direction from which it blows for example the wind that originates from the western side is called the west wind similarly the wind that originates from the south is known as the south wind i hope this is clear to you winds can be broadly classified into three major types the first one is planetary winds the second one is seasonal winds and the third one is local winds let us know about each one in detail planetary winds blow constantly in a particular direction throughout the year here in the diagram 
you can see the permanent winds which blow in a fixed direction such as northeast trade winds that blow in northeasterly direction then we have southeast trade winds that blow in a southeasterly direction other permanent winds are westerlies and easterlies all these winds blow in a particular direction throughout the year and are known as permanent winds or planetary winds now come to the next one that is seasonal winds these winds change their direction in different seasons for example monsoon winds in india monsoon winds blow in india in the southwest direction in monsoon season and in northeast direction during withdrawal of monsoon season so here they are changing their directions in different seasons hope you got my point the last one is the local winds they blow for a short time during the day and over a small area for example land breeze and sea breeze another example is lu that blows in india you know very well that it blows in a particular area that is northern part of our country and in a particular season that is summer so you can say lu is an example of local wind i hope this is clear to you so children that were all about winds in the next video we will continue with moisture do subscribe my channel and get notifications about upcoming videos thank you everyone